for our last point of discussion, challenges facing formal organizations. So the first term is the McDonaldization of society. Let's cover that first. Now the McDonaldization of society is a term coined by an organizational sociologist named George Ritzer. He actually wrote a book called The McDonaldization of Society. McDonald's restaurants are leaders in efficiency. First, it's the first fast food restaurant that was established in 1950, and they learned how to get food to people very quickly, hence we have the term fast food. The reason why McDonald's is able to do that is because they actually operate according to a scientific model for efficiency. Therefore, businesses have adopted the organizational principles of McDonald's restaurants to become more efficient. So there are businesses that aren't even related to fast food that have been trained by the McDonald's corporation to become more efficient. And the reason why McDonald's is more efficient than other uh, types of industry is because they, again, operate according to a science model, a scientific model, and they emphasize the, the uh, following characteristics. So the first is efficiency. The breakfast sandwich is a very efficient way to eat your breakfast. Everything piled into a handy sandwich so you can eat and drive to work at the same time. Uh, the uh, drive through window is the quickest way that you're going to be served at a fast food restaurant. Actually, there's a timer that serves the cars according to a certain amount of minutes. So when cars or when restaurants or franchise owners actually meet the efficiency standard for the drive through window, they get a bonus from the um, McDonald's Corporation at the end of the month. And typically, they share that bonus with the manager of the franchise. As a matter of fact, if you want to buy a McDonald's franchise, you have to first be trained by the McDonald's University in California. And yes, there's such a thing as McDonald's University in California. So before you can buy that franchise, you have to be trained uh, first. And that ensures that every business upholds the scientific model of efficiency and is more profitable. So it doesn't matter if that McDonald's is located in Timbuktu or here in the United States. They all operate the same way. Now, these are some other characteristics. Calculability. Through a scientific model, they're able to calculate how much food it takes to serve people in a day. Therefore, you don't waste resources. Because again, efficiency operates best when it's done well and there's very little to no waste. There's uniformity and predictability. Now, uniformity first, everything operates the same way, no matter where that McDonald's restaurant is located. Uniformity also meaning that if you work there, you get a uniform, which cuts down on the time it takes for you to get ready for work. You know exactly what you're wearing. You're wearing that uniform. And then predictability and control through automation. These go hand in hand. Human beings make mistakes. They don't always prepare the food the way it's supposed to be prepared. So as much as possible, you rely on automation to prepare the food so that people won't undercook the food or undercook the burgers or overcook the fries. So the, so the grill is tempered to cook the meat until it's perfectly done. And the fries, more and more, see, there's something else that McDonald's does. It adopts the latest technology in order for them to become more efficient. So today, most of the fryers are automatic. So you just push a button, you load the fries in a basket, you push a button, the arm or, you know, lowers the basket into the hot oil. It fries the fries until they're golden brown. And then automatically the uh, basket will raise up out of the oil. And then you'll hear a beep, 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 which means you need to dump the fries, salt them, and then drop in another basket. So when the machines are doing most of the work for you, it cuts down on worker mistakes and it keeps things rolling more efficiently. As a matter of fact, and I believe it's Japan, they've already started operating McDonald's restaurants using nothing but robots because they've learned to use automation to replace human labor. And that's a way to save money and again, keep your business more profitable. So that's it for McDonaldization of society. Now let's look at the, the next term on your slide, the elusive pursuit of job security. What does it mean when something's elusive? That means hard to find. So it's hard to, for workers today to find job security. That's what it means. For workers today, it's very difficult to find a job that you can work for the rest of your life. When I was growing up in the 1970s, 1980s, typically there were people that went to college and then there were some that went into manufacturing. 
So there were people that I went to high school with that instead of going to Wayne State University like I did, they went to the factories. They started working at Ford or Chrysler or GM. And they could work that job for 30 years and then retire and be young enough to do something else, like at 48. But today's jobs are hard to find job security in. So a lot of times you work a job and you get laid off or the company shuts down or they outsource. Even jobs like teaching are hard to find. In college environments like the one I work in, to find a full-time job is even difficult to do. A full-time position in, in teaching with tenure is very difficult to find. So nowadays, there are a lot of uh, temporary or adjunct faculty that teach the same classes that full-time professors like me teach, but they only get maybe a tenth of the salary and none of the benefit because it's hard to find tenured type of jobs in an academic setting. So it's very hard for workers today to find job security. And that's a challenge facing workers in these formal organizations.